guys, got a long overdue denim video for y'all today. I know the content on this thing has been lacking, but it's for a good reason because I decided to pump the brakes on all of her other mods until our new Wilkie tires show up and they're supposed to be delivered today, finally. And I am stoked for it because this is actually a generational appropriate setup for this 96 Yukon, which here in 2024 is going to be a rare treat and this thing is going to look absolutely wicked. So now we just play the waiting game to see what's going to show up first, the wheels or the tires. new phone zooms in a million times better than the old one no no just the mailbox dead gummit oh let's go winner winner is the tires which i am most excited for so i did put a poll up on my community tab between the two tires i was choosing from and it was pretty much a landslide win for one tire and y'all know i always go with what y'all vote for but on this one occasion i had to go with my gut i think it was the right decision hopefully y'all do too Let's check them out. I just couldn't help myself. I mean, we got mud grabs on there currently. We couldn't put more mud grabs on there. And if you do some price around, these things come in right at the same price as grabs. And so we had to go with the Thornbirds. I've never had these tires. They always look absolutely insane. I mean, look at that freaking lug hanging off the side of that tire. If these things balance out good, I mean, they appear like they'll ride pretty smooth as long as they balance. We'll see. Um, but my gosh, what a freaking crazy tire absolutely insane now i know everybody's gonna say you should have got boggers boggers are like 200 bucks a tire more than these thornbirds for this size these are 35 12 50 15s so yes there's a little tease we went with 15 inch wheels tiny little boys um, but it's gonna look absolutely insane now we're still waiting on our wheels to show up and there's a little tease of another mod that should have been here like a month ago but somehow didn't get shipped even I, you, you'll see it in the future it's gonna be freaking awesome so i gotta go film a video with shorty leaving this note hopefully they don't not deliver the wheels if they do i'm gonna cry let's go they left them <laughs> i was so worried they weren't going to but looks like they got my note left our wheels all right i'm trying to catch y'all between gusts of wind so let's hurry and unbox these wheels never had a 15 inch wheel it's actually pretty nice because these things are light but look how freaking wide that sucker is we went with the mickey thompson's 15 by 12s holy crap look at the freaking lip on that mug <laughs> dude that's a big freaking lip these are polished wheels. Y'all know I hate polished wheels. I had these, but 16 by 10s on Larry, and they were very annoying to keep up with. But, dude, we had to go old school and look at that, dude. That's so freaking sick. I, I wish they had 16 by 12s, but they don't make them anymore. So, had to go 15 by 12. And so far, I'm not regretting it because that looks freaking killer. If you ever get a set of these tires and you see this patch on the inside, no, that is not a plug patch from like a nail or something going through. That is actually their way of balancing the tires. And yes, if you've ever asked yourself, can I fit four 35s in the back of my OBS Yukon or Tahoe? The answer is yes, you absolutely can. Got them stuffed in there. Look at that freaking, oh my gosh, that's insane. Got the other three chilling in the back seat. Gonna throw that one in the pasture and we're gonna be good to go. I did get a little worried because there's some conflicting information on the internet, so I wanted to go ahead and test fit, and we are good to go, boys. Yes, it is freaking massive. It covers up almost all of our spindle area, but as long as you don't have your Carter pins hanging out too crazy, we're freaking good. <laughs> Look at this freaking, <laughs> holy crap. It clears our caliper, no problem. Happy to report, we are good to go on the rear as well. See right there, there's your clearance. We gotta put some spacers on the back of this thing to match it up to the front, so it's gonna give us even more clearance. But if you didn't want to, there you go. 15 by 12, Mickey Thompson, classic threes. They fit, boys. Let's go get them mounted. Just dropped them off at Chico's. We're gonna go run around for about an hour and a half or so, let them mount them babies up, pick them back up. Let's see, fingers crossed, they got us mounted up. Don't see them sitting outside, but you never know. 
Let's go see. They're not quite done with it yet, but check out what do you call those little rabbits? That's what they call them. That's pretty cool. I had to put the back seat down and put one in sideways to get them to fit in here now that they're on those wheels. They are so much wider, but we made it happen. Uh, the one that's over here closest to me, he said did not balance out all the way. Don't know if that's a wheel or tire problem, probably a tire issue, but then again, the wheels are so wide, the big lip, you can't just put a fat weight on the front. Uh, so hoping that doesn't cause a bunch of vibrating and wiggling and all that kind of crap. We'll put it on the back end of this thing and hope for the best, but either way, let's get back to the farm get these babies on there. guys well there she is and i don't know about y'all but i am absolutely in love this thing looks so ridiculous i think everything fits perfectly the obs body style just loves a setup like this the 15 by 12s dude they look freaking just wide as crap literally half the tire sticking outside the fender and that is just factory front and then two inch spacers on the rear and you got that big groove right there at the fender which looks absolutely insane didn't notice it being that big i think when we put it on the wheels it spread that tire out really far and i think the 35 12 50 fits perfect on the 12 wide i was worried they weren't going to be wide enough and maybe it was going to look stretched but dude it's perfect it's like straight up and down no bubble no stretch looks insane and those big lugs like every fourth lug dude you stick your head out the window it looks it just blows my mind honestly it just blows my mind these tires are road legal monsters absolute monsters why we just need to go sink off in that creek right now just just bogger which you know who knows we might you know who knows denim could get wild here for sure but dude i'm loving it i am loving it already need to clean the wheels i should have cleaned them up honestly i didn't notice how much um the grease from mountain was on there i should have put some tire shine on there as well either way dude they just look bonkers <laughs> you gotta love the 12 wides on the old schools because it's like negative 73 offset i think so definitely a much bigger lip than you would get on a standard new school wheel in 12 wides it's like a 14 inch new school wheel honestly if it didn't have the little step down it totally would be oh my gosh i'm in love it looks so good now now we're getting started it was such a good move i think to hold off on all the other mods until these came in because this is a completely different truck now completely <laughs> i enjoyed it on the mud grabs but this is just a whole nother level i cannot get over it we might have to keep denim for longer than i expected after this just depends on how much i keep falling in love with her because as of right now i definitely don't want to see it go unfortunately i think this is the only truck i have that these will fit on possibly chomper with some spacers but i still don't think so being the 15s it's crazy this thing clears them no problem dude just freaking gawking at her out here just cruising some dirt roads i've been out here for a couple hours honestly been people riding golf carts by and male people and the locals and no one's no one said anything to me no one's gave me a fit nothing everybody likes a clean old school you know if this thing was muddy they'd be like yeah that's that boy down there slinging them donuts and tearing up our grit no not denim 
denim just out here looking good. I did take my uh, lower skid plate off as well. So I think that gives it a little more height. You can barely see the front diff hanging down. I can't, I don't know if y'all can the camera. You can barely see it hanging down, but I think it looks a lot taller. With that removed. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Anyways, I'm gonna quit rambling. Hopefully you did enjoy. Definitely comment down below. Let me know if you like the new setup. Leave a like if you did. And with that said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.